Hearing there was news that Indonesia was considering withdrawing in the KFX, IFK's fighter jet program, then in contrast the neighboring country of Malaysia actually had high spirits to be able to build domestic production fighter jets. Although there has been no official statement from the Malaysian government, Malaysian academics have designed the concept of the independence of the defense equipment and hopes the prototype Malaysian fighter jet can be released in 2030. Malaysia already has an aircraft body design, which according to its function this fighter aircraft will enter as a multi-role fighter jet or multi-role combat aircraft, MRCA, with a two-engine model. The design that is worked on also includes modification of single-engine fighter jets, single-engine, or in the international segment into the light combat aircraft, LCA, class which in the fighter jet market can be juxtaposed with JF-17 Thunder or Hell Tejas. For the dual engine concept, the size is said to be similar to the MiG-29 Fulcrum and is designed as a fifth generation fighter jet. Finally, everything is up to the government's decision, the concept of a single engine or dual engine to be chosen. Rushdie said that the construction of the prototype fighter jet was estimated to take 10 years, counting if the project got the green light from the Ministry of Defense. The 10-year period needed includes a period of collaboration that will require the support and collaboration of technology from overseas manufacturers. For more detailed specifications, which will be carried out is high-performance radar technology electronic warfare systems, and stealth technology to make jets invisible to enemy radar. The aircraft body will also be coated with a special type of paint, the hydrophobic radar absorption material coating which serves to strengthen the stealth effect. This layer can be used in all types of situations and climates. Compared to the paint coating technology used by US stealth fighter jets, they use hydrophilic radar absorption material coating. Although this material has the same effect in terms of stealth technology, the negative side is when an aircraft is flying in rainy or wet weather because this type of paint absorbs water and it is feared that it will disrupt the aircraft system. For matters of modernization of fighter jets, Rather than Singapore and Indonesia, the Malaysian Air Force seems to have no ambition to acquire new fighter jets, arguing Malaysia is still very confident in the ability of the Sukhoi Su-30 MKM, which is the most sophisticated Su-30 variant in the Southeast Asian region.